Well, Josh, are you scared to not have your phone for 24 hours? I am. Yep. Look, I've done these kind of challenges before where it's like you don't use your, you only use your phone for like an hour mm -hmm. a day for a week, but I've never just not had it. Yeah, when you did it before, it was just like, can I limit the amount of time I spend on it? But now we're talking about just- It's gone. Throw it away. Okay, so we're gonna not use our phones for 24 hours. We thought that could be an interesting thing to try. Oh, is is Isaac your screen? Duh. I'm looking forward to spending more time with my son in the next 24 <laughs> hours. He, all he does is sleep. You can't really <laughs> spend that much time. Well, the thing the thing is because he sleeps so much, I will hold him and I'll just be on my phone. Look, we didn't just come up with this challenge. I would never do this to myself <laughs> willingly, okay? We have been sponsored by a company called Mobvoy. And then they wanted us to take this 24 hour- The lock your phone challenge. Phone they will challenge. sponsor your video uh, if you do this challenge. We're like, all right, yeah, let's- uh, we'll, Sure, we'll try it out. It's probably a healthy thing to do anyway, <laughs> turn your phone yeah. off. Mobvoy is an AI company that produces smart watches and wireless earbuds, and we appreciate them uh, sponsoring this video and, and helping us make uh, healthier choices <laughs> in our lives. Yeah. So we're gonna try this, uh, and then we're gonna reconvene in 24 hours, and we're gonna talk about how it went. What do you think is gonna right. happen? What's going to happen to me? I, it's funny, I keep putting my phone down and I keep wanting to pick it back up. I'm going it. to, I'm gonna get, get a notepad and literally just make a check every time every you time think about I, it. not yeah not every time I grab for every time like that that trigger goes off in my brain that says pick up your phone here, here we go I will guess how many of those check marks I think that you're gonna put throughout a 24 hour period probably write it down and show it and I won't look you're right and then you write down <laughs> mine okay uh, oh, okay this is not a good idea <laughs> all right I won't look all right uh what uh, hmm I mean, I don't think you're nearly as attached to your phone as I am. Hard to tell. Oh, I'll just go with what I was gonna say originally. Nope. Wad this up and Wad throw it away. Toss it into the fire. What do you it's... think is gonna be the, the one of the biggest challenges? Okay, the biggest challenge for me is I actually just posted a video about me mm -hmm. sleeping in a dog bed. Okay. <laughs> I, I obsess every time I upload a video and I just, and it's not healthy. So I, I not going to, I can't do that because I, I have the YouTube analytics app. So this couldn't have come at a, at a better time for me. I think the hardest thing for me, just the mindless scrolling. Like I, I, I'm curious to see what my brain does without that little security blanket. Yeah. Are you ready for this? How do you even shut your phone off? Do you just hold the, I don't I know. I don't know how you do it on the 10R. I know that I just hold down the power button. I don't don't hit emergency SOS. Did that one time. Slide. Slide to power off. Please call you. Did you really? This is gonna be fun. Uh, off they go. Well, let's let's reconvene. We'll reconvene in 24, 24 hours. hours. All right, here we go. All right. Well, we are back. It has been. Pretty much 24. I mean, a little over 24, over 24 hours. Wow, we, we really went above and beyond for this video. So. I'm turning my phone back on. That was it. Went differently than I expected for me. How did it go for you? Um, well, because I've done challenges like this before, I kind of knew what to expect. So I, I think I could mentally prepare my mind more. Like mm -hmm. if you have never done it before, mm -hmm. that's why I was interested in what you. Mm -hmm. It's just that I do so many things with my phone. I really didn't. There were a few times where I was just like wanted to mindlessly grab my phone, but it uh -huh. was for reasons that were interesting to me and I will explain them shortly. I'm gonna be getting notifications for the next like 20 years now. I just, I, I check my email a lot with my phone, I realized. So it was interesting for me if I sat down at the computer to not already know what was in my inbox. It was like opening a present every time. Oh yeah. So I, I tally marked every time I thought to check my email because I, my, mm. my inclination is to just grab my phone, check my email real quick and also to check the time, I, I check marked every single time. But the, th the the most interesting thing, I think, was I realized that any time, and I'll, I'll be completely honest, any time there was like, even just like 15 seconds of silence, my inclination is to grab my phone and turn on a podcast. So like if I'm walking from upstairs to downstairs with a bin of laundry, I wanna like grab my phone and turn on a podcast for like 20 seconds, just yeah, so there's kinda... no Quiet. My uh, version of that is just turning on a YouTube video or something. Well, that, that, I'll do that too. That's a YouTube video or a podcast. Yeah. But I've been trying not to watch YouTube nearly as much. I actually got rid of my YouTube premium membership. Wow. Because I figured if there were ads, I wouldn't watch it as much, <laughs> which has not necessarily been true. <laughs> so. But I think the m most interesting thing about 
about this uh, challenge is that I felt like there was more what is the word continuity to mm -hmm. my day. It hmm. felt like it, there. It felt like it was a continuous timeline that everything connected to the past, and I was looking forward to the future more. Hmm. Whereas if I'm on my phone and I'm pulling it out every you know ten minutes, mm -hmm. the day is segmented so much hmm. that and I can't really remember. It's it's documented, but like. <laughs> that your memory starts to get worse when you use your phone more. Yeah. Just that breakup of your day or like, you know, 20 seconds of silence mm -hmm. is like, that could, that might be the difference between having continuity to your day or not. Silence is important. It was created for a reason. It is a thing. Silence mm -hmm. is a real, it's a thing. And now we just try and silence the silence. That was the main thing that I realized, wow, that's probably not healthy. Even when, like if I was cooking something, I had to pull out my laptop and like turn on YouTube and, and uh -huh. get caught up on like my YouTube subscriptions right, and stuff. Right. And I was like, this is, pr I, I feel like I shouldn't have to do this, but I like I wanted to. But it was funny because uh, I know there's certain hot spots that I want to pull out my phone. One of them being like I went and rode my bike, but right after I get off my bike is like the hot spot of time where like when I counted how many times I had thought about my phone, like right after getting off my bike and just sitting on the carpet because I was tired. Um, it, it, I just started telling, I was just like adding like 15 yeah. or 10, like right after that. Yeah, that's hard for me too because I am not super motivated to jog. If I go for a jog, I'm not going to have anything to listen to. I can't yeah. plug my laptop to listen. <laughs> so what I, so to combat that, what I did was I just did one mile, but I did that thing where you like run as hard as you can, as fast as you can. Oh yeah. Because when you're running that fast, it's hard to keep earbuds in your ear right. anyway. So I was like, well, as long as I'm not wearing earbuds, I'll, I'll run as fast as I can and then walk for a little bit and then run as fast as I can. <laughs> Before I've done it where when I'm not using my smartphone that I, I have like a portable radio mm -hmm. that I use mm -hmm. that I would just listen to either the mu music on there or talk radio and yeah. it's weird how a different form of the same basic thing like your phone, a radio, listen mm -hmm. to music on this and that, it, 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 it triggers your brain in a different way like the phone is for a million different uses and the radio right. is for one use. Right. That is so true. So, so we need to tally Where's up. The, where I didn't my, write my note of shame, you didn't write yours down. I, I've I, just been doing it mentally. Oh, okay. This whole Let me time. find it. How many did you say that I was gonna do? I said I would probably lowball this. Um, said 30. 30? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 57. 57 times. No, I, I included everything. I included every time I thought, oh, I need to check my email. I did. I tried to do that too. Yeah. Um. What? What was the? the I guess? said that you would do 25. I had a. I. I thought that. What? What was yours? I. I it was 34. It was 34. Yeah. Okay. So I was a little bit closer. Well, I. I've gotten so many notifications. One other thing I noticed was after I released my video. Oh, yeah. Yesterday, just not thinking about it at all was extremely, extremely good for me. Mm -hmm. And I even started to work on a video immediately after I we turned off the camera and you nice. left. So that was that was pretty cool. Another thing that was difficult was was contacting people. Thankfully, I'm on a Mac and so I have like the message app. Right, that's and, what I... Yeah, was, so it, like it was, it was weird not being able to pull out my phone and just talk, text you and be like, how's it going? Because the whole point was not to do that. But I mean, you could use like Messenger on yeah. Facebook and everything. Stuff like but that. everything would have to be on online. It would be very, so very intentional. Yeah, like you would be thinking about. Well, I was even like navigating, and because Kelly and I had to go downtown. Downtown Nashville is stressful as heck because there are three major inter uh, interstates that all connect downtown. The interstates are splitting off every like two miles. Yeah. It's it, uh, anyway, so I was like, oh, this is this is a, I'm taking a real risk here because I'm I'm gonna try and get us there on time and not look at my. I did it. I, I, I was able to just follow the, the signs. Okay, Jordan, so so overall, what did you think it about was, this experiment? I could feel instantly my brain just take a break. I think that I would need to not use the computer too. Maybe that's better. Maybe I could like still do like work, but not do entertaining things on the internet and avoid the phone. I, and I think that if we if this challenge had been longer, I think that uh, I, the withdrawals would have come. But I've always thought if I ever have a kid, I want to not use my phone as much. Yeah. So it was good to kind of do something towards that direction. So like we said yesterday, Mob Boy sponsored this video, and they have a link in our description that if you if you click the link and you do this 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 lock your phone 24 hour challenge you could win six hundred dollars three hundred dollar amazon gift card and then three hundred dollars worth of mobvoi products okay so click the link down in the description if you want to uh, get involved in the contest and the campaign and uh, do the challenge
So Look, uh, this is gonna be good for you. Yeah. It was good for us. This was good for, I learned and a lot of sad realities. A little, the phone downtime never hurt anybody. All right, let's do this challenge. Let's see what uh, scenario we got here. Contact a friend or family member without using a smartphone. Do you count? I don't think so. <laughs> can I just communicate with Isaac here? Uh, let's see. Okay, let's try to let's try to come up with a way to contact my dear beloved brother uh, without using a smartphone. I don't want to just take the easy way out here and just like Facebook message him or something. Like I don't know that that that, that feels cheap. Uh... All right, so this probably is not the most quick way of doing this, uh, but I am writing my brother a letter. Uh, and I will mail it to him and <laughs> he'll get it in a few days. It's weird. It's strange, like, outside of just actually driving half an hour to his house, what am I supposed to do? So anyways, I'm gonna write him a letter. Love you, buddy. Josh was sure to text me today. Jordan, make sure you check the mail. Like, I, I check the mail every day, but I don't get this every day. Thank you. Something about that snail mail, it just never gets old. All right, guys. Thanks, everybody. Do the challenge. Oh, sorry, hit the mic. Do the challenge. We're <laughs>